case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1994, the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit heard the case United States v. Riff, which centered on the idea that someone who commits a crime under duress may be able to use it as a defense in court. Leonard Riff indicted for conspiracy to distribute marijuana and aiding and abetting the use of mail to facilitate its distribution in 1992, argued that he had acted under duress from a prison gang to smuggle marijuana. Despite this, the district court refused to consider the defense and did not give the jury an instruction on duress. Riffey was convicted of all charges after his girlfriend, Stephanie Kania, pled guilty and cooperated with the government. The court had to decide if the defense of duress required a prisoner to seek safe haven from prison administrative procedures, and whether not giving a jury instruction on duress was an error. While the majority opinion found that there was sufficient evidence against Riff for the jury to convict, it determined that the district court erred by not providing a duress instruction to the jury and analyzing the duress defense under a per se rule, concluding that Riff presented evidence of immediate harm and that seeking help might not have been a reasonable alternative, the court remanded the case for a new trial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.